Okay, in this presentation, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to create an order, a very generic order, in the BlueSeer ERP application. This is a uh, scenario where you just have a simple order, uh, an order that you will ship complete, and then you will also invoice your customer for that order at uh, terms of, say, net 30. And then lastly, we'll show you how to actually review your accounts receivable aging to uh, monitor whether payment has been made or not made against that invoice. So to, uh, to start off, you need two, a minimum of two requirements to create an order. You must have a, a customer in the customer master and you must have an item in the item master. So let's start with the customer master. We're going to go over the address, customer menu, customer maintenance. Simply click new. Uh, a next generation number, next sequential number will be uh, created. And just put in a test customer. I'm going to put in Walmart for lack of a better customer to choose from. Uh, this information on the address will be visible on the invoice print. So for now, I'm just going to put blah, 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 one, two, three, four, five, blah. Okay. Uh, yes, this information will be on the invoice print as well as the ship to information. We're going to create a ship to the same as the, uh, as the, uh, the bill to here. Leave that, leave this box checked. The uh, other thing we're going to do here is just change the terms to net 30 because once we invoice this customer we expect payment within 30 days of the invoice. So click add and that will create yourself a customer. Uh, you can click on the uh, magnifying glass to uh, see the record you just established and there it is. So now let's go to the item master to create us an item. Inventory, item menu, item maintenance. And here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click new a next sequential number will be generated for your item number. We're gonna, the description here will be, uh, this is a test item. Uh, everything else here can remain as the default values uh, show. Selling price, we're gonna make the selling price $5. And then just click add. And that'll commit your record to the item master. Okay, so now we have an item and we have a customer. So let's go create the order now. So order, order maintenance, click new. Choose the customer we just uh, set up, Walmart. Uh, put in a PO number of test, PO. And then uh, you can't click add right here because we haven't added any line items. Let me demonstrate that for you. If you click add now, it should indicate that uh, there are no line items added. So I click OK, comes in the lines tab. And all items in this drop down dialog box will be uh, items from the item master. We only have one set up, and that's the one we just created. Uh, so just leave that there. Uh, quantity, we're going to do 25. And notice that the price pulled from the item master, the $5. Uh, incidentally, if you have customer-specific pricing, you can override this item price by going to address, customer master, and setting up customer-specific pricing for this customer and this item. But in lieu of that, not having that, it will always pull from the item master. But just know that you can actually create customer specific pricing by going into that menu. Okay, we got the quantity, we got the list price, we click add item, and that should create the item down on the item table. And notice that the summary is also changed $125 in total, 25 quantity, and one line item. So come back to the main tab and then just click add. Now, that'll create your order and it'll also indicate the order has not been shipped. Now we're going to make an assumption here that we're not going to go through the actual formal process of creating a shipper and then invoicing that shipper. We're going to assume that you've, you've shipped the product and we're just going to go directly to the invoicing step. And you have an option here on the, uh, at the order maintenance menu to actually invoice it directly, assuming you're invoicing the entire order. So we're going to do that. Click invoice and it's as simple as that. You've just created a shipper and an invoice of that shipper by, uh, executing that, that action. So now, uh, your next step will be you want to print the invoice. Okay, so just click the print invoice and a Jasper Viewer dialog box will come up. Jasper Viewer is a third-party software that you can include in your code to, uh, to save files and print files. Uh, you can print it directly uh, through your dialog box here and you can also save in multiple formats. Uh, you can save as uh, PDFs, RTFs, so uh, other various formats that you can save it in. That's a nice tool. Hats off to Jasper Viewer. Um, okay, so a little bit about this invoice print. Uh, you can notice that the bill to and ship to address information was pretty much what we established in the customer master. 
The site's information here can be controlled by the site maintenance. So you'd put in your own addressing information in site maintenance. The icon is also controlled by, you can put in your own personalized icon. Uh, here's your shipper slash invoice number. Invoice number and shipper number are the same. And then it's, it's basically a generic print for your customer to uh, as an invoice with the total pricing there. So let's just say uh, you printed that out you or you saved it as a PDF and you forwarded it to your customer. And uh, you're waiting to see the, the status of this invoice. So you can go to, the last thing we're going to do is go to uh, look at AR Aging. So Finance, Accounts Receivable Menu, uh, AR Aging View, click Run. And here's our one customer. He has an invoice. The effective date of the invoice was today, 323. The terms should be 30 days out from that. So his due date for payment is 422. So, and, and you can use this to monitor uh, all your invoices and whether payment has been applied against those invoices. So it's a nice tracking tool. Okay, that's it. For, uh, that's demonstrating the a generic situation where you've got an order, you've got a complete order, and you've just invoiced that order and provided your customer with a invoice print. Uh, if you have any uh, questions and or concerns, feel free to go to our website at bluesteer.com and send us an email through our contact information. Thank you.